Hello and welcome to another episode of Kanpan Notes with Dijali. Uh, today I'm going to share my garam masala recipe with all of you. Uh, garam masala would be a spice blend mostly used in the Indian kitchen. Uh, nowadays of course you get uh, all sorts of masalas in the market uh, whether you're living in India or abroad. Having said that every state, every community and every family has their own special recipe. Um, my recipe is uh, different from my mom's. Uh, I'll share that as well. Uh, hers is really very special. Uh, the community that I belong to, our masala is called Goda Masala and that requires a lot many ingredients than the one I'm showing you today. I'll show you that one day but today I'm showing you the basic nutmeg notes garam masala. I am really excited. So let's get started. Hi, so now let's go through the ingredients for our garam masala. Uh, I have taken six tablespoons of coriander seeds, uh, three tablespoons of uh, cumin. That means I've taken half cumin uh, to the coriander seeds. Uh, I have taken one nutmeg, uh, about six uh, grams of uh, the big cardamom, uh, about seven grams of the small cardamom, uh, mace is about six grams as well. Uh, then we have some cloves, six to six grams, uh, cinnamon six grams, and uh, pepper is six grams. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I am going to just um, roast it a little bit. Uh, all the spices I'm going to roast without oil because they all have, most of them have essential oils of their own. So there's no need to add oil and then uh, roast them. Uh, I'm going to roast each one separately uh, just for about two to three minutes when the pan is on medium heat so it's hot but it's not like scorching hot that it's going to burn the spices uh, you see these are delicate and you need to uh, you know take care while uh, roasting all of them so I'm going to roast all of them separately and then I'm going to let them cool down and uh, then I'm going to grind them to a powder so make sure you do not uh, uh, you know, grind it, uh, the mixture when it's hot because uh, then it's going to you know, uh, get uh, some moisture in it later on and that's not good for your garam masala. So I don't make uh, big quantities because I feel that uh, your masala loses its uh, fragrance and the flavor is not as good as uh, you know freshly made uh, garam masala so uh, this will last me for about uh, 15 15 to 20 days uh, also I do not add my masala uh, when I'm cooking the vegetable I generally do that I just sprinkle a little bit towards the end so the fragrance do doesn't die and uh, uh, you know the, the vegetable the, has a good flavor as well so uh, let's get started yeah so um, uh, so after 15 minutes of cooling down I ground the spices to a fine powder I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of salt and mix it evenly and uh, I'm going to store this into a tight container uh, I live in a very warm uh, so I store all my blends uh, into the fridge uh, so yeah I hope you uh, liked uh, this recipe I hope you try it at home and if you do then please post your picture under this video also please like 
follow, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel which is called Mapping Notes by Tejali Khanekar. Thank you so much and see you next week. Bye-bye.